Howdy everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. Quick shout out at the beginning of this video to Rob Heath. Thanks Rob for sending over these stickers, they're super sick. Go check out his channel over on YouTube, he does some Battle Song reviews. And today we will be checking out, finally, the Chroma lineup. Full disclosure in the beginning of this video, this, these, both of these, actually three of these, were sent over from Chroma for the purpose of me checking them out and making these videos. But any and all opinions are my own and he did not pay me or influence me in any way. You guys know the whole deal. But, the Chroma. I've had them for a little more than a week, but I haven't spent enough time to justify calling this. I spent two weeks or three weeks with the Chroma. So, we're just going to stick with the typical naming convention for the moment. Um, this is the 2.5, and this is the Chroma V3. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with both of these products. I think they're both very, very good plastic ballot songs. I'll mostly be talking about the V3 today since that's all that you can buy, but I will be comparing it to the old 2.5 uh, as needed. Now I believe we're further enough, we're far enough along into the video. I'm not going to announce this in the title or anything, but I'm also not going to make you guys watch until the end to increase my watch time. If you want to win this exact Chroma V3, that Chroma Balasong was so kind to send out and then he had the idea to do a giveaway for you guys. If you want to win this exact Chroma V3, check out the link in the description to my Instagram. It should be at the top of the description. It'll take you to a post. Please, I beg of you, read the description of the post. No one reads descriptions of posts anymore. It'll tell you how to enter, what you need to do, when the giveaway will end, how I'll announce the, the winner, all of that stuff. Uh, and good luck to you if you enter. It will be a USA only thing, at least for what I'm giving away. Um, and yeah, over on Instagram. So go check it out and go check out the other links in the description while you're over there, like my discord. Cause every time I mention it, a bunch of people join. So the Chroma, a lot of people wanted me to check out the Chroma for very good reason. It's very good. I don't think it's a amazingly unique plastic ballast song, but when the plastic market is so small as it is right now. I don't think you really need to be crazy unique. You're certainly not going to be the next edit or cycloid, but you just need to do your job right. And I think the Chroma V3 delivers in that aspect. It's smaller than the edit while still being a bit bulky for me. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but it just kind of has that very typical, here's your handle bias to do your rollovers, your zero G chaplains, stuff like that and it's good i like it i like it quite a bit actually i'd put it it i don't really know where it would go in my um gosh someone's stomping around upstairs i don't really know where it would go in my tier list of plastic ballast songs but i would probably put it above some of the squiddy lineup maybe right below the calico definitely above the, <laughs> the ufo you know what i mean um but it's good it does its job and especially if you are someone who doesn't live in the U.S., this is made in Europe. So this could be an option for you without having to pay a gazillion dollars for shipping for a plastic ballast song that costs probably as much as the shipping does. Um, and I, I like it. I have a few nitpicks, mostly with the design of it. Um, I think this blade is just too thin, personally. Like, this is a nitpick because design is super subjective. But these are pretty chunky handles, and this blade is so thin, and it just doesn't vibe aesthetically with me. Uh, I like the 2.5 a little better, because these handles just seem thinner and less chunky to me. But I think it's really because of this at the end here. Um, the way that it comes out like this, not a huge fan of that. I know that's what gives it the end weight, so you can fit the weights in there. But I really just do wish it was like the 2.5, and it was just uniform all the way down. Because uh, it makes choker fans especially hard, and I struggle with choker fans on both of these models quite a bit. They're possible. I can still do them, obviously, but it takes an immense amount of effort, and I find myself messing up with them a lot because I just it's just a bit too big to do that properly. It's kind of the same with the edit lineup for me. If I get the edit light out and I try to choker fan it, it's kind of the same thing. Um, so not a deal breaker by any means, as long as it can still perform the trick, that's okay. And it does. So that's great. Um, but yeah, it is, it's a little chunky. It's not as chunky as something like the edit. So if you want something a little smaller than the edit while still having like that 
kind of metal-ish balance. I think this is a pretty good option. I think this thing is balanced. It's balanced pretty well. I wouldn't say it exactly replicates a metal trainer because of its distribution, obviously. But I think like in terms of balance, it's got like that Squid Industries handle bias that a lot of people enjoy, which is nice. And is also kind of the reason that I prefer the 2.5. Now, I don't want to say that the 2.5 is the better product. I think objectively it probably isn't because a lot of people would probably prefer the V3 over the 2.5. But the 2.5 I see as like, it kind of fits in perfectly with the OG Tay Flipper and the Edit Light. Two ballast songs that are like specification wise inferior to what came after them. The Tay Flipper with the Calico and then the Edit Light with the Edit. But I just love them so much because they're fun and they just take the plastic balance and they do it so well. They're very neutral, they carry momentum well enough, and they have plenty of tip weight to allow you to do what you wanna do, and it just feels amazing. And I think that's the perfect analog for that because while I do think that the Edit and the Calico, from a more objective perspective, are better than what came before them, I still have a massive soft spot for both the Tay Flipper and the Edit Light. And the 2.5 kinda sits in there because it's just a fun plastic balance and that's what I want. Whereas I think a lot of people who buy a plastic ballast song want something that's gonna perform a little more in line with what they're used to, with what they're used to. And I think that's where the V3 comes in. The V3 feels a bit more standard to me uh, if you can get past that little bit of plastic chunk that it has to get the weight up, which the weight is 2.9 ounces, which is quite high for a plastic ballast song especially. The updated construction feels great. The Chanwich, similar to what you find on something like the Calico, is awesome. And I think really just besides the balance, the V3 is an upgrade in every way, uh, especially with feel in the hand. But I just can't get over the little, the neutral, neutral flipper that is the Chroma V2.5. But enough about the Chroma V2.5. We're talking about the Chroma V3. And I think my final verdict is that I like it. I recommend it. It's, I think it sells for about $60 USD, which is great. I think it's a good price. I think it does well for what it is, especially, like I said before, if you live over in Europe and you can't pay the crazy shipping fees from an American or a Canadian maker like Tay or Zippy. I was going to say Flipforge, but then I realized Flipforge is not in America. I'm dumb. Um, but yeah, I like it. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, I'm, I, I guess I shouldn't say I'm a huge fan of it, but it is a very, very good addition to the plastic lineup and definitely something that I would pick up more often than something like my Squiddy WH. Even though I think the Squiddy WH might have a slight better balance, I think I do prefer the Chroma V3, to be perfectly honest with you. So I think that about does it for the Chroma V3. If you want to win this thing, go check out the post linked in the description. Like I said before, it might not be up by the time this video is out. I am me after all, but it should be up within the day that this is out. So just keep checking. Uh, just a little cool thing that Chroma wanted to do. And I was happy to agree. So yeah, check that out if you want to win this thing. And I will see you all in the next video where I play catch up yet again with, oh, what are we gonna be checking out next? Oh, the Nakiri. Gotta update the video on that. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you again to Chroma for sending these things out and for doing uh, letting me do a giveaway. Extremely kind of you, man. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.